It's Campbell to Santana Moss. Quick screen. Great lineman down downfield. Look at the block. Lineman downfield. Body on body. Beautiful. Santana Moss makes the play. He's not just a deep threat. Come in. On the road, Eli Manning has only won two road games, but more are coming. Mark Brunel, screen to Santana Moss, breaks the tackle. The big fella out there, not even the hand in front of the camera could obscure a 7 nothing lead. You know, you take a look at this, it look, appears to be Will Allen's fault. He comes up great. I think he forces things back to his health, and he doesn't have enough help from the inside. Going for it here on a fourth and three. And it's Grossman to Santana yeah, Moss big. for the touchdown. Fourth and three, down by a touchdown. He goes for the gusto and gets the six. I mean, it's unbelievable what he's doing. And then the next play after that run, it's Santana Moss finding the end zone. 14-3, Redskins on top. The Browns needing to get something going. I'm down, down, they do me down, down, down. They're up 14-0. And now Vinny to Santana Moss, touchdown. Second quarter, Jets back in it just before half. Can go Gage back. Third down and six. And Brunel, he's chased from the pocket and fires a cross play, and it's knocked away. Oh. And it's caught for the touchdown. Santana Moss. Moss makes the catch off the deflection. And the Redskins get their first touchdown of the game. Grossman for the end zone and a touchdown, Santana Moss. We'll take another look, a perfect throw from Rex Grossman. Did he get them both down? One, two, touchdown. Well, they go high low and you're going to see they run to the flat. That pulls Corey Webster up and it looked like either. Not even under center. Play action, bootlegs it, rolling to his right, going over the middle, there's a man there, it's a touchdown, touchdown, Santana Moss to catch, going across the field to the left corner of the end zone, Redskins score. The 13, a third down and 10, look into the end zone, and spectacular, it is a touchdown into the corner to Santana Moss. Santana Moss. Came to the Redskins from the Jets in 2005. Look at the left foot. Right foot down, left drag. For Johnson of the two tight ends for Brunel, 22 yard line, first and 10. One receiver is Moss. Portis with the block, providing time for Brunel. That's caught by Moss. What a play. Court screws in for the touchdown. And he beat Bao Ju, a 22 yard strike by quarterback Mark Brunel. Mark Brunel was able to stand in the pocket, pat the ball, hit his plant step, do everything the, a quarterback loves to do and delivers the ball in the perfect spot. And then Santana Moss does a nice imitation. Seventh in receptions and third in receiving yards. That's rhythmic passing, tapping the ball, tapping your feet, hitting your plant foot and getting your six. So Cooley checks back in, ninth play of the drive. Good protection, wide open, and a touchdown to Santana Moss. Moss, his second touchdown reception of the year. Well, great protection up front, and then Donovan McNabb's going to deliver a strike. Outside double move. Santana Moss starts to the post, back to the corner. And then when he makes that move right there, it gets Charles Tillman well on his outside shot. Has replaced for Ben. Uh, he's got it. In the end zone, it's Santana Moss again. His second touchdown today. Here it is, working on Will Allen. Guys know each other very, very well. Got separation from him. Safety with Sean Williams was nowhere near the play. Santana Moss for a first down and a touchdown. The wide receiver screen to put the Redskins back in front. But you're going to see some great blocking down the field as well. Look at all those offensive linemen down there. And Logan Paulson is the guy who allows him to get all the way into the end zone. He comes from the opposite tight end position, gets up the field, secures the block to the end. Third and a dozen. Here they come comes. with a blitz. <laughs> and Pennington hit as he throws. He's got a man.
believe that's Santana Moss's first touchdown ever in the National Football League. It is. The Kansas City Chiefs send everybody in standing in there and launching an air ball. Moss on it all the way. Warfield does not know where the ball is. Warfield play got to believe they probably have another one in them. Play action fake. Collins looking for the end zone. Tossing. Caught. Moss for the touchdown. Yard touchdown pass Todd Collins to Santana Moss. Santana Moss going to come down here and then go all the way across the formation here. They go play action on an early down where it looks like maybe this is going to be a rundown. Deion Grant just simply no match for this. Blitz coming again. They pick it up. And a touchdown throw is made to Santana Moss. Jaron Hosley's in coverage, man to man, and Santana Moss, we talked about him, lost the 15 pounds. Mike Shanahan said he was not made. able to gain 44 yards. The Redskins first and 10 on the Saints, 31. Off the play action. Campbell fires to the end zone for Moss. Perfect. And he makes the catch for the touchdown. 31 yards. That looks like the best offense in football on that drive. Great quarterback play by Campbell. Back-to-back -back plays getting the ball to Cooley on for Santana Moss. Well, when you got Liddell Betts in the backfield, use him. That time, just as a decoy. Now his favorite target, Santana Moss. Nice little double move on Mike McKenzie. Gets the separation. See the corner from the other side. Fred Thomas never looked for the ball. That's a great throw. Remember the Monday Night Football game week two of last season? Sean Payton referred to it this week. Redskins at the Cowboys. Payton said, I was on the sideline when Santana Moss single-handedly beat us, the Cowboys at the time, on Monday Night Football. He had two touchdown receptions in the final minutes for Mark Brunel to lead the Redskins' comeback. And much, much worse. Springs and Smoot with the picks tonight. They've also lost the fumble. Collins off the fake. Collins going deep and reaching up and making the catch is Moss for the touchdown. Santana Moss, he's healthy again. 32-yard reception beats Marcus McCauley, the rookie out of Fresno State, for the touchdown. And that was their plan. That was a matchup that they were looking for. Al Saunders said that before the game. We want to get Santana Moss on the rookie Marcus McCauley, and that's exactly what they got here. McCauley played it pretty well. And, you know, I mean, he's right there, and, and he just goes up for the ball, but Santana Moss goes up higher. And Mark Burnell threw three touchdown passes, including this 32-yarder to Moss, and his second of the game to sell it. That sets up Chad Pennington. Hey, there's a throw That's to right. Santana Moss. 32 yards, 24-7, J-E-T. That's a two-yard touchdown run, and now it's 21-3. The Jets, Benny Testaverde, has done so well as a Jet against Miami. This 32-yard touchdown pass to Santana Moss early in the fourth. Four-yard line to convert. Brunel hanging in. Going deep, and the pass is caught for a touchdown by Santana Moss. And the Washington Redskins finally get into the end zone in 2005. And that was the thing that everyone had to be calling for. You know, you bring in a Santana Moss, and he's going to be your deep threat. You didn't have a lot of big plays last year, but you're bringing him in to make the big play. Here he is. He's going to run a post. You, you start to the to the outside, then you go back to the inside, then and then come deep. And I think Brunel. Second and seven. Play action fake. Collins rolls, sets, going deep. Moss open behind the defense. Touchdown, Redskins! Santana Moss the catch, 42 yards for the score. Out and up. Beat him. Easily. 
This face is second and eight at the Falcon 42. Jason Campbell, a play action fake, looking deep. Left sideline, Santana Moss down there, makes the catch. Down at the one yard line, and he rolls it. Touch in. For touchdown. A touchdown, Santana Moss. Touchdown, Redskins. McCarron's get in there. First down in San Diego territory at the 47 yard line. Fake draw. And Pennington going for six. Deep down the field, and it's caught by Santana Moss for a touchdown. Quentin Jammer and Jerry Wilson were both there, and the pass is perfectly thrown. Moss makes the grab 47 yards, and for the first time in the game, the Jets have the lead. You know, I think the play-action pass even got Quentin Jammer a little. You're going to see him. He's looking in. And you see the play action. He looks back at the play action. Let Santana Moss get up upon him. Now, Santana Moss had that speed, and he's one of those guys. When he's even, he's leaving. And he throws the ball when he's even, and Santana Moss just runs right by. And the Redskins have had possession the whole time. It's a reverse to Randall L. He wants to throw. Looking deep. Down the right sideline. Santana's there. Up. Catches it. It's a touchdown. He came back for the football for one yard line. And Santana oh. scores. He beat two guys. Next play, Ted Pennington. Play action, Santana Moss. Wide open. He bades one tackle and then skirts down the sidelines. Your basic free play, 89 yard drive. We're tied at 31. Up 14 to 3. What well, do you Redskins think he would have got the 14 ball. to 10? And now a little uh, trickeration here. Left. Brandon Banks to Santana Moss. Yeah, like it was Santana a frisbee. Moss right there getting, getting in jump from the U. <laughs> it's like it's going a frisbee. 49 yards. <laughs> like Tebow. Redskins on top 17 to 14. Just Chris Cooley, 17-yard gain on third and six with Detroit up 10-9. And Santana Moss, a 50-yard score to put the Redskins up 16 to 10. He hands it off in the end zone, which is safety about five yards deep. We don't show you that, but Carter wide open Santana Moss. So all of a sudden, Carter can find some time, and it's a 22-17 game. Maybe the Jets come the Jets loosey-goosey after Herb Edwards challenged the team, challenged everyone this week, and Santana Moss, his speed apparent. He could go all the way. 52 yards, the Jets. Shocking, the 6-1. and one. The Jets adopted Herm Edwards' one game at a time mantra. And once again, the special teams and Santana Moss gave them an early lift. Moss fields near midfield, comes to his left at the Jet 49-yard line, breaks a tackle, left sideline 40. He has a lane to the 30. He's down to the 20. Left sideline 10, into the end zone. Touchdown! The Moss. Dockery stalemate. Fifth year together, Henderson 6'7", 325, Stroud 6'6", 306. Stroud is huge, but he refers to Henderson as Big John. The quick throw is complete. Santana Moss spinning to the 45, the 40. To the 30, gets a block. One man to beat, Deion Grant. Spins away from Grant. Touchdown, Redskins. Let's go back to the touchdown, Randy. Well, here, here he is right there. You're going to see. But right here and here. Watch the blocks. One is Cooley. Bottom of your screen is Brandon Lloyd. Once the reception is made, they become blockers. Cooley, bang. Nice block. Nice block there by Brandon Lloyd. And that's just nice. Athletic. One time, 7 nothing. They were up 13 nothing at the break. But a week ago, they were up 10 nothing and still fell. Jason Campbell to Santana Moss. And Moss gone. 57 yards. He had 178 receiving quarter after a Bucks three and out. Campbell goes big time, big play to Santana Moss. Stutter go. Double move, coach. Yeah, he's got him. And Talib and, and Moss, they were battling all day down that sideline. And uh, off. at home since week four, and the Giants lead 10 7. But Brunel undaunted, play action. And you just know you got to cover Santana Absolutely. Moss. Stop. Absolutely. Always manages to get behind the defense. Little stutter go on Will. Will never has time to turn around and pick up the football. A great adjustment made by Santana Moss.
That would be one of those special plays for Benny Testaverde. What an excellent job by the offensive line by Curtis Martin carrying it up in there and waiting to the last second. Look at the blocking by the Jets offensive line and everybody's open down the field, especially Santana Moss. 60 yard touchdown pass off the flea flicker. Third and 10. Four man rush. Good protection. And now a flag, and he just throws it as far as he can for Santana Moore. He caught the ball, and a touchdown, but again, a penalty flag all the way back behind the line of scrimmage. Touchdown. Illegal use of hands to the face. Defense. It is. How in the world did he catch this? Well, this Between thing, Coleman and Boykin. This thing's just on a wing and a prayer, and, and had this thing gotten picked off like it probably should have, would have probably been very critical of RG3 for even launching it up. He could say, well, it's the same as a punt, provided that there's no return. You're right. That, that's just not playing the And just 39 seconds into the game, Santana Moss got them off and running. He puts his left foot into a wobbly kick that bounces at the Jet 40, is picked up and flying down the left side of the field of Santana Moss. He's to the 50, left sideline 40, down to the 30. He's at the 20, 10, 5, touchdown. Curtis Martin doing some good blocking here. Well, yeah, you're going to see the blitz package coming up, and uh, uh, Martin does a great job, and he's always done this. Great job of stepping in, covering the blitz. You see it, the ball caught by Santana Moss. Woodson going to come up. Try to make a play right there, and actually, that is the Lawrence Grant helping Santana Moss along by throwing him forward nice. and allowing him to keep his balance and move into the end zone for 65. Not get the first down, gives the ball right back to the Redskins. Avoid, reset, throw, nice. and he's, he's got him up top to Santana Moss. What are you thinking, cornerback? That's Santana Moss in front of you. Out, dip him, make way to get up on his toes and set him, Santana, and just do what you do. And that's run fast. No, that was Tracy Porter. The becomes. Rodell Betts stays in the tailback. <laughs> Brunel. Well, what a catch on the sideline. Santana Moss. He's on his way to Washington's victory. His third touchdown of the game, Santana Moss. Oh, my. 68-yard winner. A walk-off touchdown by Santana Moss. 68 yards on that one, adding to his earlier scores as... This former Miami star has uh, performed dramatically in overtime to give Washington the win and a 2-2 start of the season. Four catches, 138 yards, three touchdowns for Moss. We've talked all day about Byron Leftwich fitting the ball into tight spots. Mark Brunel guns it into a tight spot, and Santana Moss rewards him with another gigantic play for the Washington Redskins. Mark Brunel playing with three stitches in that throwing elbow. Celebrating along with this crowd and this team. Did he go out of bounds in the far sidelines? I guess that's why there is a slight delay here. They're checking upstairs to confirm that he stayed in bounds. Did Santana Moss on that catch? This to uh, be definitive and make sure there wasn't an error. There's the catch. So uh, we didn't see the first part of his form. Yeah. He doesn't come close to the sidelines after the catch. Fit in perfectly right over the top of Brian Williams. Now let's see here. Does he go out of bounds is what they're checking for. It does not appear he ever gets out of bounds. He's in bounds the entire no. time. No doubt. So the final score will be Washington 36, Jacksonville 30 in an overtime thriller here at FedEx Field just outside the nation. Carter knocked out early with a head injury. Brooke Bollinger played for the Jets, but here he is in the third quarter. Santana Moss. <laughs> wow. Looking backwards. Touchdown. 69 yards. 13.
out about your offense and defense. I mean, this is what good offense is when you can make plays in this situation. Good defense is when you can stop those plays. From the 30, Brunel going deep for Moss again. He makes the catch, and Santana Moss for a touchdown. Wow. And again, it's Glenn and Williams on the coverage. He beats the same two guys. Unbelievable. He just outran him, and Mark Brunel got it out there. Two-minute warning. Well, Jaron Glenn is number 26. Roy Williams is number 31. We see Santana Moss down here in the right, and he is just going to split the two. He's going to run right between Roy Williams and Aaron Glenn. That's what speed does, and that's what a good throw does. I mean, I mean, this is why you say, you know, you know when you have a coverage, you like to have someone up bumping these guys so you can throw them off stride. When a guy like Santana Moss can run, that's just like running a hundred yard dash in a track meet. I mean, he's just running straight through. No one, no one reroutes him. No one does anything to him. He just hasn't played in a long time. Timeout. Later on the timeout again. So the skids out of sync. The Giants smelling the lead. They smelled wrong. Ramsey to Santana Moss. He could go all the way. So the G-Men could have had the lead, but now they're down 28 to 17. And Allen again is the one torch. Yeah, well, Allen again, if you're covering Santana Moss, of course, he's torched everybody in football this year. So teams player and a linebacker. Dardaki's punt. Moss comes up to the 25. Now has some room at the 40. Two blockers in front at the Pittsburgh 40. And Santana Moss does get a geeky return. Touchdown, and there are no flags down. Santana Moss on the return. Well, Herman Edwards had a premonition. He said he just has the feeling that Moss is going to have a big one. They don't get much larger than that. Well, the Jets special teams have been coming up huge. Remember, Contrary had a kickoff return for a touchdown in their last game of the season against the Rams. And now Santana Moss delivers big time. And we have an official hurt on the far side of the field. But boy, talk about a big time play to get the Jets back in this game. Mike Westhoff, the special teams coach of the Jets, is absolutely ecstatic. It's the third punt return for a touchdown in Moss's career. And it really set up that one little move and cut up field. Well, that move, Dick, he made a play and he sold everybody that he was going to try to get around the corner to the sideline. He made that move to the... Working out of the shotgun. His first in the NFL. And the veteran Santana Moss with a grab. Santana Moss, Mr. Reliable for the Washington Redskins. Clearly a coverage breakdown. They try to make Kirk Cousins beat him. And Kirk Cousins said, all right, I can play that game. It's horrible going and missing that play. All of a sudden, seeing one of the other guys going and getting that one. But now they're starting to get penetration, Moose. And Lionel Dalton, a former Washington Redskins. Second down at 19. Santana Moss. First down and more down the sideline. Santana Moss takes it all the way. 78 yards for the Redskins touchdown. Well, I've just had my two least favorite plays in the NFL <laughs> show great results. The, the jump ball fade in the goal line situation and now the wide receiver screen. I'm going to show you why this works. Number 50, 60, Chris Samuels. Watch this on Kendrell Bell. Gets him knocked, and then he gets the leverage on him. He's, he gets a big collision, gets him stunned a little bit. Then he jumps to the inside, creates an alley. Santana Moss, you know, I just, 
I didn't know he had It's a boo-boo. Or a great are you going to the house? And now house call. Let me show you what it is. Wow. Uh -oh. Where's the punter? Becomes the right there. The first Redskin in team history to come up with a punt return and a receiver receiving touchdown in the same game. Never happened before. That, that's that's history. Make the first guy miss. The first guy miss. And and the second guy. You got to be able and to break the, the tackle. Redskins went for two.